Okay, today I'm going to show you how to feed your Columbo as many berries as you possibly can. Now, this is super, like, kind of, I would say, hardcore. I was not trying to play a game when I first landed. All I cared about was getting those berries. So, I had this on super high mode. If you land over there by the Joneses, there are three bushes, I believe. So, that is what I'm trying to get here. And it's a pretty dedicated play. Um, there was a couple of matches where I landed, someone la landed with me, and they killed me. And I just didn't care. I wanted to stack as many berries as I could, get to the dinosaur, feed him, so I could get this quest completely done in the 20 stages. Now I am getting some supplies as I go, just cause as soon as I get done with the dinosaur, if long if I don't die, um, I will go and continue playing the game. So I will shortly here get a car. Uh, I will fill it up cause I know I have a distance to go and the storm is moving in. And hopefully I can find that dinosaur. Sometimes I feel like he shows up in random places. I landed at Camp Cuddle and got berries, and he was there at Camp Cuddle. So I am curious about the spawning rate with him. I wonder if maybe the first person who has berries or who has the most berries in a section, he shows up because I didn't always land in the one spot where he always is in, in, in the desert, and I was able to find him. So that is interesting to me, but it could just be coincidence. So I'm gonna get the car and I'm gonna fill up. And then it's basically kind of a, sh a straight shot over to where Haven is. That's the only where, where you will find him is over by Haven. Now, if I had more time, I would have gone over to Haven and I could have bought some and also by Haven. I believe there's six bushes by Haven. However, the storm was moving in, and when I found him, whoop, there he is. He is literally in the storm. Very lucky my car did not hit him. So I'm trying to get his attention here, and there we have him. So, I was prepared to stay in the storm as long as he got fed and I could get this done. I found him all the berries, made sure he was eating them. All right, here we are with hopefully my last journey to get all the berries that I need to stack them up, find the dinosaur, give him all the berries, and then resume gameplay. So for this, I am landing back where Haven is. It was pretty off the map from the bus route, but we made it work. So I'm gonna go to Haven. She has about six um, like berry bushes by her. So I'm gonna get all of those and I'm gonna go find the dinosaur and feed them to him. That is the plan. So let's see what happens. It's taking so long to land because I was very much so off the bus trail. But I was dedicated. I wanted to stack this and get this done. So now it's like, I hear him, how do I find him? I feel literally blind. Where the fuck is dinosaur? 
Oh, do I see him now? Oh, there he is. All right, I finally see him. He's so cute. He's just like, he reminds me of a cute little puppy dog. All right, so we're gonna get in these berries. Hopefully no one shoots me in the process. Always a main concern. I love when he somehow brings in legendary guns, but I don't love it when he sucks them back in. All right, let's get in these berries. We're gonna stack them. I'm getting concerned he's not sucking them in. Okay, I'm a little concerned here. There we go, there we go. Okay. Come on, a little bit more. Let's go. Makes me so nervous. Finished, completed, all of them are done. All 20 stages. Thank you. You finish? Now, this part I never knew about is when you get on him, which I, I'm on the struggle bus here. I tried building and then I end up walking up his tail. But his blowhole, okay, which is now, now it's, we're in week eight, but leave it to week eight. And one of the tasks is, you know, glide 150 meters from his blowhole. I didn't realize he had a blowhole until right here when I finished the, the task, which is about a week before the new quest came out. Hello. I, I was just looking at it. Woo! I had no idea.